Hello everyone. Some of you have asked about where and how to start the RPA developer certificate in UiPath. So I thought I'll make a quick video to tell you the step by step process. So the first process is we need to go and register in academy.uipath.com and if you have already registered you can log in otherwise the registration is pretty simple. You need to provide username, password, every basic details and the moment you uh, go to the next page it will ask you about your company whether you what type of profession you are so that you can fill it in and once it is done you will be able to sign into the process the moment you sign in this is the first thing in academy so they have a three levels the easiest way you can go and have the catalog is basically if you go to this option the hamburger option and click course catalog and this will let us this will list the separate uh, different types of courses they have so we are interested in English non-technical, there is a technical courses, that's where we are interested in. So there are different levels, as I said, three levels, level one RPA developer foundation and there is a level two orchestrator, level three RPA uh, developer advanced, right? So you may find the level one is in some of the duplicates. For example, if you scroll this side and you see that that's a level one RPA developer as well. So this is specific to the version 2018 and 3. but you can go with this version, the level one RPA foundation training revamped. So this will be fine. So these are the three levels you need to be taking it. These levels are very simple. You can just navigate uh, the, the training and finally you will be asked to take a quiz. That quiz will have a five question. For example, if I go in here, RPA developer foundation, I've already registered, enrolled it. And this is going to give us this training uh, material, right? So it's pretty simple. And it takes a bit of time. Yes, so once you are here, then it will just go through this particular thing. If you are already know the concept, you can even uh, go a little faster. And finally, you will end up having the quiz. If I select the quiz one, and it is going to ask us, it's unlimited quiz, and you can take n number of times. And there are five questions. The questions will be of uh, multi-choice as well as a single choice option. And you see that there is a 70% pass, pass rate, no time limit and five questions, right? And this is also unlimited number of attempts. You can take as number of as many times as you want. So this is about it. And as you navigate through, you will be able to complete this, uh, the level one. And the same process applies for level two as well. Level two will be very simple and straightforward. That's about the orchestrator. And level three is where we will have the practical exam. So there will be two quizzes, uh, two practical uh, uh, practical session. For example, if I go to level three advanced, there will be two practical exams. So basically you will ask to provide uh, one exam, one practical thing maybe that I am getting a calculate client security hash and this will be generate yearly report. So this will be thing, but it may vary depending on your uh, your status right obviously these two will be there so you will need to provide it for example if I go in here assignment 2 assignment 1 right if I go in here I'll be asked to upload this file once my uh, UiPath process is completed I'll be asked to upload it once you're uploading zip it and upload it then it will immediately give you an answer whether you are it is passed or failed so these two are quite tricky part so this that's where I'm taking um, I'm providing this tutorial so that will help you to understand every single bit of this framework right and how we can clear this one so this is on the academy side so once academy is done they have a separate platform for certifications that's nothing but certificate.uabath.com again the same registration process remember to provide the same user ID because that's your user ID and the certificate will be generated to you right and there is again a three or uh, two parts one is online quiz you need to take it there are 45 questions out there you need to go and take one by one 45 questions and once you're done they will be asked to do the practical exam so once this is done this practical exam will give you an idea this is this is where the real test would be so they'll you will be asked to uh, create the process using the RE framework and whatever the practical exam that you had in advanced certificate that will be pretty much the same thing there may be minor here and tweaks here and there so once you are done then you are done so you will be certified I hope this is helpful to you all the best for your certification see you in the next video thanks for watching